military man. Military. Well, for me, it's called passion, but it is about all, uh, how, how it's, it's about love, but how many types of love there are and what they look like. And, you know, love isn't always pretty. Passion is a love story, basically. Um, but as all love stories, it never quite runs smoothly. It's not a, you know, oh, I'm in love kind of thing. It is. Oh my goodness, they're not even my type, mm -hmm. and I love them. There's a, a love affair between a young woman and a soldier. He gets posted away, and the, the course of that love affair changes. It's the ultimate love story. This is Romeo and Juliet on roller skates, isn't it? It's just... He hasn't told me I'm on roller skates yet. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, it really is proper Italian passion, you know? Yeah. But loving you I have a goal What's left of my life I will live And I would die For you Die for me What kind of love is that? The truest love This revival of passion is brand new, is fresh with the amazing direction by Mr. Michael Strassen. Um, he has put a real fresh, new kind of outlook on it. Um, it's very simple, um, but it's really to the core of the music, so the music and the story is able to kind of come forward. The show's always been, I think, interpreted slightly more operatic, but I'm, I'm really just, we're going to just playing it for the truth the absolute truth. And it's a bit like a slap in the face because you just just do less. And Stephen's lyrics and um, music well, is waiting for you. But, the, but yeah, absolutely, and also that, that um, visually what we're doing, you know, it's, it's not full of noise. It's very pared back and it's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. And everything is highlighted that is just it's very specific and very clean and very honest it's a really honest production there are you know it, it will look beautiful but it, there are no bells and whistles it doesn't need it you know no we won't be smashing any furniture no one has ever loved her till me and i want her putting it together in New York uh, about 20 years ago now and that was the first time that I really fell in love with Sondheim not only because I just hadn't really I, I hadn't really sung his stuff before and suddenly I was completely immersed in it and him because he was there at rehearsals every single day I sat on my couch and wept when I heard the news last year, but you know, with joy as well because he's given us so much. And I've done a few Sondheim shows now and I've forgotten, because you do forget a little bit how special, how much detail, how much that you just, you do the work as an actor and then you come in and you just, you're just present with it and the magic happens. I mean, you can't act pathos, but the room's full of it constantly because mm. it's, um, we lost, um, he's irreplaceable, um, one of a, and a beautiful human being. And just to be able to commemorate Mr. Um, Stephen Sondheim with a wonderful show like this, it, it is a real honor and it's a privilege. I mean, I was disappointed because it, he was supposed to be seeing it. And I would have loved to have m made him proud. Um, mm. Because I think he would have just yeah. adored the, a new version. Yeah, well, that would be my note on press night. Imagine he's in. Yeah, this is this is for Stephen.
theatre is um, extremely intimate and with a show like Passion, I mean, you're going to feel like you're almost in it. That scares me. Um, and in, yeah, but also, like, even yes. watching rehearsals, it's, it's so kind of arresting. And we can't wait for the audiences in Manchester. They're so, well, my experience, you know, um, they've been very warm and, and welcoming in the past, and I'm from there, well, from Wigan. Um, uh, but we do hope that this show will have a further life, of course. We put a lot of work and love and effort into it, and, and it deserves it. Personally, I am... Uh, it's a new experience for me because uh, luckily, or, or, uh, you know, I've had the great fortune of doing some amazing shows in the West End, but I haven't done a small theatre. Mm -hmm. So this is just going to be a joy for me mm -hmm. to experience something that isn't, yeah. you know, the Theatre Royal Drury Lane or something like that. It's a timeless story and I, I feel like this will resonate with audience across the country, um, especially in London. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> bring us to London. Uh, yeah. um, but I'm, I'm from Middlesbrough, the northeast, so I know that the theatre crowd up north love a great, great show and a great story. So I'm, I'm really excited to take this show to Manchester. Your love will live in me. Your love will live in me. North, no. up north. The north, whatever. The north. They'll probably hate me because I'm from Sunderland football team. <laughs> What's on stage? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs>